what is good youtube man today i'm back with you guys with the nation for another video and today 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 we got some breaking news within the las vegas raiders and you know i'm here to report and we're also going to touch up on some other topics as well but as you can see by the title and thumbnail the las vegas raiders have decided to sign chris jones and no it's not the defensive lineman no the chiefs didn't release him so no it's not Chris Jones, the defensive lineman. It's Chris Jones, the defensive back. And Chris Jones is only 26 years old, six foot one, 200 pounds. In 2021, he only appeared in seven games for the Titans. But in those games, he recorded nine tackles, two pass breakups, a tackle for loss in that season. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. And he's, like I said, he's only 26, so he doesn't have multiple multiple starting seasons under his belt um you know he's he's a solid depth guy but you can tell he's got some talent by his stats now check this out in seven games out of or seven games started out of 23 career games he's had eight pass breakups 48 tackles and two tackles for loss now in 2021 this last season Chris Jones allowed for only four receptions on nine targets for 51 yards, zero touchdowns allowed, and only a 74.2 QBR when targeted. Pretty solid. And he played a, over 100 snaps at 105 snaps that last year. Now, his best season did come back in 2019. Um, that's when he kind of played the most. He got targeted 28 times, only allowing 13 catches, no touchdowns and a 71.2 QBR. So something that you can realize, when he's getting targeted, either the receiver's not going far or that ball isn't getting caught. Now, you know, for his for his career in the NFL so far, he's been with three teams. He's been with the Cardinals, he's been with the Lions, and he's been with the Titans. So he's been a bit of a journeyman, but I feel like he offers some good depth. And he's young, good measurable, six foot one, 200 pounds, solid, solid pickup for the Las Vegas Raiders, in my opinion. Also, we got ourselves a bit of an update when it comes to Indomitian Sioux. It's looking like the Raiders are still actively looking to make additions to the linebackers group, also the defensive line group. Jonathan Hakins, we're not too sure how good his back is at the moment. And when it comes to the linebackers group, well, you can always have good talent. You can always have more competition. And in my opinion, I think Anthony Barr could provide that. Now, there's two names that I really, really, really would like when it comes to the linebacker position. That's Kwan Alexander, and that's Anthony Barr. If we're looking to add a linebacker, those are the two guys. Anthony Barr is a freak athlete, six foot five. He was a pro bowler. He is a very very good athlete. Now, something to note with Anthony Barr, he was playing in that weird Vikings defense where they kind of ran what Gunther wanted to run, and they ran it better because it was Zimmerman's defense that Gunther took. But um, he was kind of in that, and he had a lot of success, but it's not a 3-4 what he ran over there. They ran a 4-3, and um, there was a lot of different things that they decided to do with Anthony Barr, but due to injuries uh, these last few years, he hasn't been able to put a full season together. That's probably why he's still a free agent, because if you ask me, he's an extremely, extremely talented player, player and he's a freak athlete. Now, Kwan Alexander, that man needs no introduction. If you can get him, get him. Um, I, I, I would absolutely love that. Now, um, the reason why I would love it is because you have Kwan Alexander, then you had Denzel Perryman, then you have Jayon Brown, then you had Divine Diablo. Who's going to beat out who? I love the competition with that. I would absolutely love it. Now, with the defense alignment, obviously the biggest name out on the market right now that Las Vegas Raiders fans want is a Dominican Sue. And it's, you know, it's still looking possible, saying that the Raiders are still interested in adding a defense alignment. Now, there's four guys I would really like. Linval Joseph, former Viking, former Charger. I would absolutely love that. He's a nose tackle. Brandon Williams, former Raven. I would absolutely love that. He's a nose tackle. Eddie Goldman from the Chicago Bears. Why not pair him up with his uh, old teammate, Bilal Nichols? I would absolutely love that. Now, of course, of course, Red Nation, Darius Phylon is still out there. If we are looking for a defense alignment, 
Give the man another shot. Why not? Why not? I'm all for it. Give the man another shot. If he's healthy, if Darius Phylon can pass a physical, let's run it back with Phylon and, of course, Adamic and Sue. But what do you guys think about that? Would you would you guys like to bring in one of those names that I just signed, uh, said at the linebacker spot or at the defensive line spot? Honorable mention for the linebackers would be Dante Hightower because he kind of would help uh, transition into this defense, uh, make the transition into this defense a little bit easier for these young pups. But that's mainly all the news for today outside of Tyron Johnson switching his number to number one. So we knew that Deshaun Jackson wore number one. He ain't coming back, especially after what he was talking about. Now, um, yeah, Tyron Johnson wearing the number one. What do you guys think about that? Let me know in the comment section down below. And as always, you guys, stay safe. Have a wonderful day. And on your way out, hit that subscribe button to get all Raiders news here on this channel. I love you guys. Stay safe. Have a blessed day. And I'm out, you guys. Peace. Welcome to the Death Star, where our opponent's dreams